What's up everybody, this is GCXBU Gaming, and today I am going to do an unboxing video I haven't done in a while since the last time. So, the one I'm going to unbox today is none other than a Nintendo Switch uh, Joy-Cons. Which happens to be a Split Pad Pro from the brand Hori. Pretty popular in Japan. Full size controller for handheld mode and whatever that, that, that language is. I think that's French, I think, or uh, Spanish. So, pretty much it says here pretty much the same thing from the front size and comfort and performance. Full size shoulder buttons, per precision D pad, and programmable weird triggers. So, yeah. Yeah. These guys are pretty popular in Japan. Not just uh, Nintendo, also PlayStation, um, but I'm not sure about Xbox, but I think these guys are probably exclusive for Nintendo and uh, Sony, I guess. So, yeah. So, let's show open the thing today. So, boy. And a lot of people always tell me, you don't seem to be a married person when you don't wear the ring. Well, here's the thing. The ring I have at home is doesn't fit me because it's like it's really tight. So I just had no other dress but to take it off. So and I mean oh, god dang it. <laughs> oh it has the manual. Alright. Exactly what I said. The instruction manual. Pretty much before using this product is uh, updated the latest software system firmware. Oh, my bad, I, I misread that wrong, but it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Does not support the following features gyroscope, motion, IR, camera, player, LED, HD rumble. Oh, really? That's a bummer. Uh, accelerator, accelerator, home button. Really? Ah, that's fine. I, I, I mean, I don't mind it, but let's see it, shall we? Looks nice, though. Wow, it's pretty big. This shirt is pretty big. Maybe big, but it's nice. But let's see how it works out, though. After all, it is my favorite color, and my favorite color is red. But in the camera, it kind of look a little burgundy, like in a certain angle when I put it or something. When it's when the sun shines or doesn't shine or something. So, which is not bad. I like it. Therefore, I'm going to uh, put these things in. That, that is super awesome. Check that out. Oh, very nice. Very light. Very light. So. Uh, let's put that there. Let's get my Nintendo Switch. Okay. Oh, I don't want my uh, controllers to fall down, so I'm going to actually take it off. Okay, take my Joy Cons right now while I'm holding my cell phone. <laughs> Alrighty. Put that there for the meantime. Let's put this here. Put this on the side. Okay, that looks nice. And the other side. Let's see. This side. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure I put it in nice, nicely and correct. Nicely and correctly. I had to do it this way. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm holding the camera at the same time while doing this thing. So I'm trying not to uh, break my switch. There we go. Right now, it feels nice. It was pretty smooth. I like it. Kind of, kind of plastic in a way, I guess. The way I feel it. But it's really not bad. I'm trying to do the focus on my camera. There you go. See? All this stuff here. Some nice buttons. Pretty cool. Has the home, assign, and turbo. Let's press this one. Does it work? Okay, that doesn't work. Might want to turn it on first before I uh, do something. So, so this is an unboxing video for you guys, and also I'm going to work out the kinks with this as well. 
So it says here, attach the joy cons to the controller. Joy cons cannot be read wirelessly while airplane mode is enabled. Oh shit. Oh, whoops. I forgot that. Forgot that. Damn it. Oh boy. Uh, let me, uh, I got technical difficulty. I will be right back. Alrighty, now I am back. Sorry for the s short technical difficulty. I had to like turn off my uh, how do you call it the uh, airplane mode. So right now it looks nice. It actually functions very well on both sides. So it which is pretty cool. Has these uh, big buttons on the side too. From me, from your Z's to your L's, R's, and then the trigger buttons. It's really not as heavy. It's really not. It's super light. And I can tell from the back here, there's like extra buttons on both sides, which is pretty cool. I like it. And uh, I, it does have the the button to detach them on both sides as well, which is pretty nice. And uh, this is just a regular uh, on my Switch. This is not uh, the... Nintendo Switch Pro, it's just the cover because apparently when I first bought mine, actually, it was actually used. So let's go from there that way instead. <laughs> so right now, I'm going to go to the settings, system settings. I have to go to, uh, where is that? Controller and sensors. Okay. Um, let me update them. Is it updated? Oh, it is updated. Okay, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, grip, order. So, it has like all the stuff for my L and R at the same time. I can't, I won't be able to do L and R at the same time by doing this one. So, bear with me. I'm going to do this. And hold the other one. If I can. Okay, that didn't work for some reason. But apparently, it does work. I guess it only works with the regular Joy-Cons, so I guess that's fine, but with this one, I guess I just press A. Yeah, I just press A because I think it's just, just like that. Huh. So, so basically, I think it's just like that, I'm, the way I'm uh, assuming, but I'm not sure how this plays when you were doing like a second player, but uh, you know, let's test that, that theory out, if that actually works with the... I'd be surprised if the second the second uh, controller works. I think it would. Let's go to uh, okay, the grip. Oh shit. Let me uh, use this real quick. Okay, it's on the grip. Okay, that's fine. So, let me try this. Thing. I think it might work because it does have the same capabilities. You get to press one of them. Sure, it should work. Huh. I'm not sure if it does work, but I'll be surprised if it does for a second player because you do have that certain button like right there. But hey, I guess I, I don't know how that works, but these controllers work just fine. But I haven't tested the the actual thing on this yet so hopingly it works if I can get it to work then it would be amazing actually come on work I'm trying to get it to work <laughs> oh geez oh boy um let's try it together at the same time okay it do okay it doesn't work I think it only just works for like with when you like attach it, I guess, because the thing is, I, this one still works while I have it. So, yeah, it. I think that's probably a letdown, I guess, from Hori, from the original. I mean, the product I just bought just now, but compared to the original one, like this, ah, oh, shit, just fell down. Um, pretty much, it it just works just fine. But right now, I'll try to get a good gameplay out of this one with these these bad boys i mean i got a sign buttons and then i got a turbo and same goes with the other side too as well which is pretty cool i actually like the kind of feature but hopefully it depends on what games what I, i'm definitely going to play with when it comes to like using the turbo button probably like final fantasy 10 
a 10-2, the one I have. So, that probably might work. But who knows? Who knows? But therefore, this uh, product is actually useful. It actually works just fine. Not kidding. It actually works just fine. With the D buttons, uh, when I press like the back triggers, it does work. I guess it's popular on certain games. Let, let me try Pokemon for a second. Uh, I'm just gonna test this out. If, if it works, then okay, this will be super awesome. So pretty much I could like just farm whatever using with the with the uh, turbo. Like I probably have to like hold turbo and then select what I need to use and then it will have that assign button you can just hold or probably it does it automatic for you or something. I mean, because I did, there's like this sometimes I have to like farm and like in uh, I think it was Final Fantasy X like when you're going to uh what was it um it was like at the beginning of the game i mean not close to really the beginning it's like when you're about to go to uh luca yeah like around that area because i think that like i said there are some parts you can probably use the assigned turn turbo button for so let's see how that works actually so let's say i want to do a turbo of uh a i guess and Oh, okay. Now, so basically, it 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 was show you a light. So let's say when I want to get rid of it, I press it again, and then when I want to assign buttons, I think like you can assign certain buttons to be a for for your back triggers. I think that's how it works. So let's say I want to assign uh, X, right? And then when I press the back, the back trigger, it actually activates. So that is super cool. So basically, I just figured out on my own without reading the manual because I do have like a uh, another controller that's kind of similar to this on my PS4. So if you want to get rid of the assign button, just hold this and uh, tap the tap back button, and then it's gone. So let, okay, I'll do it one more time just for you guys. Even though this is supposed to be an unboxing, but it's no big deal. But I'm now I'm testing the capabilities. So first thing you just just hold it just regularly and press any button you want i'll press a and then you see a light so when you uh let's say i'll go to a pokemon battle for example i'll, I'll just i'll just go to a random pokemon battle and i i i still have my my uh my turbo button still still on which is the a button right so let's go to a grass and let's see how the the function of the A works actually works, you know, while it's uh, you know, on turbo mode. So let, let's just work it on Pokemon, for example. Okay, I'm just doing this for an example. You see the button right there, the gr I mean the light. I'm holding the A button, and it works just fine. So if I do it again like this, it does it fast for you. So whatever you want to do, if you're like, if I'm going to do like, uh, like Mortal Kombat, I guess like when like certain like things, it makes it more faster, I guess. So let's say I'm doing, well, I have the turbo button and I'm like w roaming around the area and my turbo button function for the A button will take effect. So let's say I, I go here, I go there and I can pick any, any uh, command but once that thing is automatic like that it's gonna remain like that forever until you turn it off so when, if you want to turn it off you hold you just hold this just press the same button it disappears so yeah anyways thank you for watching this unboxing video and probably review I guess because I'm just showing you like how this function works for these uh, these uh, joy cons from me by Hori the this uh how do you call it the the split pad pro i think it's worth it for, for certain games that you would you can use that can uh do that functionality for the turbo button 
I mean, Pokemon, I mean, it's understandable, but if you want to do, like, something with Pokemon, I, I suggest to just hold it down a little bit and then just press this one button. And you can just continue to hold this while you can, like, choose whatever commands for your Pokemon moves or, or whatever. So, that's pretty much what it is. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time for another unboxing video. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Okay, guys. Bye.